you guys welcome back to my channel my dogs are fighting excuse them a little bit i'm here to share with you guys as you can figure out by the title some of my favorite products now these are not strictly related to beauty it's a wonderful mix of everything it's beauty it's so it's makeup it's skin care it's um candles we've got bath scrubs so we've got perfumes and we've got some dental care going on I know, totally random, right? Let's dive in because I have a lot of products to talk about. So does my dog. You want to show your favorites, baby? I think I'm going to start off with the skincare category. So I'm going to firstly start off by showing you guys my favorite cleanser these days. It's the Lotus Flash Cleanser by 82E. I've spoken about this cleanser before. Do you all see? Like I've used. half of this the reason why i love this is because it's so gentle on the skin it makes my skin feel clean after i use it without making it feel stripped off or dried out which is great it doesn't burn my eyes and it's very very gentle on the skin i have a lot of cleansers but this one is definitely my favorite right after you cleanse your face you use a moisturizer and an spf right So my favorite moisturizer and SPF has been this one lately. Like this is my go-to product these days. It's the Fenty Skin Hydrizer. This is basically a moisturizer with an SPF. So I don't need to use two products. I started using this because I was traveling a lot, so I didn't want to use two products. So yeah, that's actually an easy go-to. But then it became like a routine thing. It's just so quick. It's a moisturizer with an SPF. I don't have to put two different products, which is why I love it. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this enough times on social media. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing moisturizer. So it serves multiple purposes. It works as a moisturizer, as a makeup primer, and a moisturizing mask. You can also use it to remove your makeup, and I've tried doing that. It works wonderfully. Uh, the way I use it is that I just paint it on my skin. I put like a thick layer. I let it stay on my skin for a minute before I massage the remaining product into my skin, and it. Honestly, hydrates and nourishes my skin so well. It gives me a beautiful sheen and a beautiful glow to my skin, which is why it's all gone. You can tell it is loved by just by the way it looks. Next up, let me not forget my favorite sunscreen. It's the Foxtel UV sunscreen. Can you see like everything on the packaging? It's rubbing off. That's how much I like it, and I. Honestly carry this everywhere I go like all of my trips this sunscreen comes with me even if I take the hydrizer from Fenty with me which is a moisturizer with an SPF I still use it on top because this one gives me like a beautiful dewy finish and honestly it's one of the best 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 sunscreens out there in the market it's so budget friendly I do also have a code with Foxtel so whenever you're shopping on their website you can just use the code During the checkout, which is my whole name, Sonia Ahuja, S O N I A A H U J A, and you save a twenty percent on your entire billing amount. Another one of my favorites is this Bakuchi oil slip again from Eighty Two E, which is the Pika Padukone's uh, skincare line. I use it in the nighttime skincare routine. So I firstly take my makeup off with the Bioderma. I cleanse my skin with the Eighty Two E Lotus Splash, which is very gentle on my skin. and then i go ahead and apply this pretty much every single night now bakuchi oil as we all know it's nature's retinoid as the pika padukone has also explained it to us but it's like an alternate to retinoid which is retinoid is chemical it's a harsh chemical not very really great for everybody's skin definitely does not suit my skin which is why i use the organic alternate option to it which is bakuchi oil and this does not irritate my skin it works wonderfully on my skin The day that I use it, I wake up with like a beautiful, fresh and glowing skin the next morning. So that's again a hit. I've used, I would say, twenty to thirty percent of the product. Like it's come down till here. Now the next and the last product in our skincare category is this eyelash serum. I never in a million years thought that I would like an eyelash or a brow product, or I never believed in one. But this one has completely changed my opinion. This is the Skin West. Uh, lash life brow brow and it works on growing your eyelashes your eyebrows if if you're a guy you can use it for your beard as well i have personally tried it on my eyelashes and they've grown out so beautifully i'm amazed and shocked at the results and i've used it only a few times and it's worked so well so 
definitely a five star if you don't have great lashes or if your lashes have fallen off due to any reason this is your go-to i'm sure if it works great for my lashes it's gonna work great for your brows in case you need it i'm gonna jump onto the hair category because i only have one product to show you guys in the hair category it's this product right here which i've spoken about a million times on my instagram stories it's the bed head after party so basically this is supposed to it's like a serum which is supposed to make your hair smell great if you're going to parties there's alcohol there's smoke and all of that shazam happening then your hair is gonna smell so you just take a pump of it put it on your hair and you're gonna be good to go you go back home nobody's gonna know so this could be a savior for a lot of you guys and it makes your hair very shiny and very soft now let's dive into the makeup category i have quite a few products to share with you guys i'm gonna start off with the base products which is the foundation i am gonna firstly talk about this foundation from nas it's the natural radiant long wear foundation now i being a makeup artist i have a ton of foundations right but i love this one because it's so lightweight on the skin it gives me such a natural finish it honestly looks like second skin it wears for a very long time which is why I love it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's the right consistency. And it gives me, as I said, a beautiful finish, which is why I love it. So on days when I want a little more coverage, I use a foundation. The shade that I use in the NARS foundation is Fiji. I am an NC30 to 35 in the MAC foundation, just in case you guys want to refer to my shade. And if you guys have a similar skin tone and want to buy this foundation. And on other days, on usual days, this is what I use. So this is the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. Your skin, but better, CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. It's basically a cream, like a moisturizer, but with a tint in it. And it works, it like covers everything on my skin so beautifully. As it says, your skin, but better, that's exactly what it does. It genuinely looks like it's your skin. It just combines with your skin it doesn't even melt it into the skin it combines with your skin and gives you like a very even tone glowy dewy base which is why i love it and it's like very natural looking also this product does contain spf 50 plus which is amazing so it's like extra protection for your skin since we're talking about base products let me not forget the charlotte tilbury flawless airbrush powder now mine is very dirty it's overused guys but this is honestly one of my favorite setting powders like i am not a huge fan of powders in general i barely and rarely use it on my skin but as you all can see i have definitely hit pan on this one now i use the shade medium and i usually use it to set my under eyes if i'm not highlighting my under eyes this one is one of those powders that does not let my concealer crease so now the product that i wanted to talk about i'm just going to show you right away it's this powder puff pretty basic right but do you see the thickness the quality of it so this one is from Samir Khuzami he's a beautiful makeup artist and this is the powder puff that I use so I just grab some of the powder and I literally dab it straight underneath my eyes that keeps my concealer set it does not crease it does not move and keeps looking beautiful throughout the day so this combination for my under eye works beautifully the sponge is so soft this is the only sponge that i use for myself now and the powder we all know charlotte tilbury and her powders are amazing it's just very lightweight and has a beautiful texture literally does what it says gives you an airbrush finish so i am a dry skin girl and i don't like a lot of powder products i use like concealers and liquid foundations and skin tints and cream blushes cream highlighters in general and one of my recent favorites like not recent but it's been like a long term favorite most of these products have been my favorites for a very long time i've stuck to them i've used them to the max for i would say more than six months and that's when i'm sharing my reviews and so confident about it because these are legit my go-to products this is another one of my favorite products is the rare beauty blusher now mine is very dirty i'm not going to show you a close-up but as you can see it has a beautiful pink shade for blushers i like using 
pink and rosy tones because it keeps me looking very fresh and honestly this is the only blusher that i use on an everyday basis now for me it's like if i have a routine i have a routine i'm sticking to it i'm not using anything else i have a million products with me but i stick to a routine i get stuck in a rut the shade of this blusher is called nearly rose and honestly it's one of the best blusher formulas rare beauty has truly nailed down their formulas i keep saying when it's a celebrity owned brand i initially don't believe in it but these days like the celebrities they're coming out with kick ass products it's not like they're just stamping their name onto a product to make more sales but they're making sure ensuring that the products are good quality which is very important and um, yeah it's an amazing blusher every time i go out in public i go out to my salon and i'm using this highlighter people keep asking me what highlighter am i using in general also even if i'm using any other highlighter it's a technique that i use to apply my highlighter but this is one of my favorite highlighters it's from kevin aquan again you can see all of my products are so dirty this is the celestial powder highlighter in the shade starlight now you all can see i have hit pan and for me to hit pan on any product is very rare because as i said i have a million products if i'm hitting pan or running out of some product it truly means that i love it i'm using it to the max and it's good so this highlighter is not very in your face highlighter like this is what i'm using right now as you can see it gives me a very natural look a very beautiful sheen let me swatch it for you guys it gives me a beautiful sheen honestly even if i meet makeup artists every makeup artist and every human being in the world questions me about my highlighter trust me guys it's the technique of course the product matters but when i say the way you apply your makeup matters a lot more than what you're applying because you could have the most expensive product in the world and not know how to use it and you could have the cheapest product in the world and it looks amazing on you so it's on how you use your makeup you don't have to have the best of the best or the most expensive things in the world you just have to work with what you have and find the best way which is why i always encourage people learning how to do makeup i've seen so many people i get so many students who like tell me that i have this i have that i have that but my makeup is not looking nice you just don't know how to do it which is why i conduct all of these personal grooming sessions so that you can bring in your products and i can train you with the same if you have zero products that's fine i can teach you on my kit as well on my professional kit you're going to get a look and feel of each and every different product but if you have products you don't know how to use them you can bring them to me and i'll show you how to use them and get a flawless looking makeup i only have two eye products to talk about so i'm going to quickly mention them first is this kajal it's from again as you can tell by the packaging it's from k beauty now k beauty has some of the best products i've spoken about k beauty lip liners and lip crayons enough times on my instagram stories they're one of the best again another celebrity owned brand but it is amazing like she's definitely doing justice her products are very budget friendly yet very very amazing they stay so well so even her lip liners her lip crayons everything stays so well the colors are so beautiful and so is the kajal the kajal does not bleed it does not burn my eyes it doesn't make my eyes water it just stays put for a very long time it doesn't smudge nothing at all no movement once it's there it's there this is honestly a very random product in my kit now i did not intend to try it i was going on a vacation and i forgot to carry my mascara it did not have my lash extensions on i forgot to carry my mascara i usually use the huda beauty one like that's what i've been using lately and i completely forgot to carry that so i asked my sister to grab a mascara and she grabbed this from her salon kit it is the maybelline new york the falsies lash lift mascara as it says lash lift it does that it honestly makes my lashes look so beautiful the first time i used it i was sure it stays on for such a long time it's completely waterproof you can definitely compare these to the high end mascaras they're way better than some of the high end mascaras i have always been like a huge fan of maybelline mascaras they've always been amazing i used to use the colossal mascara earlier which was amazing and now this is not a shocker actually but yeah another maybelline mascara which turned out to be amazing 
I'm quickly going to talk about some setting sprays. Now, these three setting sprays are my favorite. We all know this one is the mac fix plus now the mac fix plus is mainly all about hydration and h2o like that's one of the main ingredients h2 in glycerine which is why it gives the skin such a nice glow you can use it to prep your skin and also use it as a finishing spray a lot of times i have started using this before applying my makeup if I, like i've done my skincare way before and my skin has sort of dried down i will just go on because i don't use a primer like I skip it most of the times I forget to carry it and it's just I can't take that headache it's not required so I just spray this on my face let it dry then I have a smooth base to put my foundation and everything on and it's a beautiful 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 setting spray I've loved it for years I've used it for years which is why I've loved it for years and it just melts like your makeup into your skin if you have a foundation and powders and all of these different layers it's just going to melt down the product and combine all of it together merge it into your skin and give you a very natural looking finish and a very dewy looking finish to your makeup additional tip for those of you who didn't know if you buy six products or if you have six empties of any mac products you can go and return six empty products at mac and exchange it for a lip color it's that back to mac program that they have i think that's what it's called next up is this setting spray which i love so i'm sure all of you know this or at least beauty lovers this is from tatcha it's the luminous dewy skin mist now this is definitely not an average product it definitely falls into the expensive price list it's definitely a luxurious product and it's pretty expensive for the price that you pay but it's worth it for me because i have dry skin okay so it's worth it for me if you have oily skin you're gonna hate it i'm telling you but if you have dry skin you're gonna love it because this is straight up like an oil in a bottle and it gives you that oily dewy luminous sheen on your face which i love as i said i have dry skin i don't mind looking like a grease ball i don't mind looking oily i love it in fact but if you have oily skin you're gonna hate it if you have dry skin like me and you like glowing i love glowing so i love it and for me it's definitely worth the price but you can definitely skip on this and just go with the mac one because this is like i'm sure very much cheaper like it's not cheap but it's definitely cheaper compared to the tatcha one and this is easier to get so stick to the mac one now this is one of the skin mist that i've recently tried it's from lila b it's the a glow face mist now this is again a beautiful formula it smells so good it definitely smells like essential oils to me it says it's a hydrating mist rich in natural ingredients from earth and sea to leave the skin balanced and rejuvenated all i'm saying is that i love it because it gives my skin a beautiful glow it sets my makeup well again if you have oily skin you're not gonna like it if you are a dry skin person like i am you're gonna love it i should also show you one alternate option from morphe give me a second let me talk about the star of face mist the game changer of the setting spray the morphe setting spray now let me tell you this was my idea it was my idea it had been in my head for a very long time i just did not work on it and this stole the idea from my mind the reason why i love it not because of the formula the formula is amazing i'm not saying no to that but because it's a continuous mist why the fuck would i do that to my camera as i said it's a continuous mist so you're not like going she 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 on your face and you're not getting like harsh particles on your skin it's a very fine mist you get it very evenly dispersed on the skin and it gives your skin a beautiful glow and sets your makeup right and the best part about morphe is that you can now shop it on nike on their app which is amazing earlier it used to be so difficult to get these mists because i've been using these ever since they launched i used to get it shipped across and certain times they would not ship like the mist and like these kind of products because of course it's it's in an aerosol container so they would not always ship it so i would have to ask someone to carry it but now morphe is on the nike application so you can go and get it this is the jumbo one we have the regular ones as well but that doesn't matter it's a spray get the mist it's a best selling spray now let me quickly talk about this brush from smashbox as you can see a close up 
it's very tightly packed like the bristles of this are very tightly packed it's not very huge it's like pretty small and tight it's supposed to be for cream products and it's supposed to be for your cheeks for your blush application or to blend out your cream contour but the way i use it is i use it to dab off my concealer so i just paint on my concealer and instead of using a beauty sponge i use a brush like this because a beauty sponge eats up a lot of product and this one just like puts it where it needs to be so yeah love that let me quickly talk about a few of my favorite lip products again this one is from k-beauty i'll give a second to this lip liner now k-beauty has amazing lip liners this one is in the shade unleash i'm gonna swatch it and show it to you guys it's a nude color i love nude colors it stays on for a very long time it doesn't move it doesn't smudge it doesn't do any wrong thing it just does all the good things and lip liners stay for a very long time which is why i love using lip liners they don't dry your lips out like liquid lipsticks would i am not a fan of liquid lipsticks yet we're gonna talk about a liquid lipstick so this is the one like i accidentally grabbed the mini one it's a faces liquid lipstick in the shade 09 it's one of my favorites again uh, that's what I have on my lips right now so this one doesn't dry your lips out again and it stays on for a very long time it's not at all expensive it's actually very budget friendly pocket friendly it's again a nude color with a little bit of pink beautiful shade as you can see on my lips it's a perfect nude for all Indian skin tones I don't use a lot of liquid lipsticks like the faces one is the only one that I use and then I actually really like using cushion lipsticks. So the difference between cushion lipsticks and liquid lipsticks is that liquid lipsticks are completely transfer proof while cushion lipsticks even though they are long lasting they don't completely dry down on your lips. They keep your lips hydrated and legit feels like a cushion on the lips and it does transfer so that's the downside but I don't mind it transferring to be honest as long as my lips are feeling good and they're not cracking, they're not drying out, they're not annoyed. I'm fine with it so I'm gonna swatch this one for you firstly it's the Jaclyn Hill cushion liquid lipstick in the shade promised it's a very beautiful nudish pink like it definitely comes off more pink on this watch but when you put it on your skin it's like the most beautiful subtle perfect date night pink lip it's the best pink nude lip color that I've ever tried. I love this to the max. And these are the only lip like these are the only two lip products that I honestly use or carry with me wherever I go on my trips and vacations. Let me not forget to show you guys this Dior lip glow oil. Now I have a hair tie. I have these tiny little hair ties on my bottle because I always braid my hair so I make sure like these hair ties are not getting lost in my bag. I've spoken about this before. It's one of the best lip balms in the world. This is the only lip oil or the lip balm that does not dry my lips out. It doesn't chap my lips. Like I've used so many lip balms but they'll start making my lips so soft that they'll start peeling off and that's one of the most annoying feelings in the world. And this is the only lip balm that keeps my lips hydrated and does not do that. Definitely a little more on the expensive side but I would say it's 100% worth it for me. I use something with a little bit of a tint. The shade that I use is 012 Rosewood. I'm also going to talk about these two lip maximizers. Again, they're from Dior. As you can see, I've used a lot of them. Like the pretty well used and pretty loved so i have two shades in this one is 001 and then i have 007 007 is more of a pinky color and 001 is more like of a transparent color this is for days when i put on makeup i have a lip color i just want to add some shine and this is for days when i don't put on makeup or any lip colors I'm gonna swatch this and show you guys so you can see what exactly I'm talking about. You all see that? Do you see the shine that it adds instantly to my lips? It's not sticky at all. It just gives me like the most beautiful pout in the world. It's unlike any other lip gloss. I am sold. I genuinely love the Dior lip range because they have some amazing products. The next product again is from Dior. It's the Dior Lip and Cheek Tint. I have the shade 351 Natural Nude. I'm going to swatch this as well and show you guys what it looks like. It's like a very natural rosy color. Here is a swatch. 
you can use it as a blush for your cheeks i'm just gonna dab it out and show you guys it's very smooth so the reason why i like it as a lip tint is because usually the lip tints that we use from benefit or from the body shop they are more of a watery consistency and they make your lips dry on the next day and they start chapping your lips off this one it is more of a creamy finish it has more of a cream uh, consistency so it doesn't dry my lips out which is why i like it and also if you use it on the cheeks it has like a good luminous dewy finish the last category is the most random category of them all let me firstly show you guys this product that i genuinely genuinely love so this is from bath and body works it's the aroma therapy line as you can see mine is very dirty i am ashamed but i'm still gonna show it to you guys because it just goes out to show that i use it i love it as i said it's the aroma therapy line it's the body scrub sleep it has lavender and vanilla it's a sugar based body scrub exfoliates the skin very beautifully the smell is so the fragrance is so good that i don't even dare to use it in the day because it's such a relaxing fragrance as it says sleep i legit feel like sleeping so on days i've done this on days when i cannot sleep i take a bath with this and i go to bed i feel so relaxed i just go in a different sleepy state of mind so Bath and Body Works is definitely doing wonders. I also have this stress relief body scrub and it does what it says. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know who's developing the products but they're nailing it. Since we're talking about Bath and Body Works, let me also show you two of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. I have a ton of candles from them and I have to say I am a little too obsessed but yeah, this is my favorite candle. This is the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. I have multiples of these because they come in like different, different packaging. And because I use it so much, that's why I keep multiples of these. It smells like sweet vanilla. On a beautiful date night, you could also be by the beach. Good feels. And this is what I use if I want to sleep. This is what I would light up to be honest. Marshmallow Fireside is I'm sure one of their highest sold fragrances along with warm vanilla sugar. Both are my favorites actually. This turned out to be a little bit of a shocker for me because I did not know I would like this fragrance. I just literally gave it a shot not knowing anything about it. It's the Palo Santo. It's more of a musky feeling. Yeah, that's why it says soft musk and warm amber and that's exactly what it smells like. Very soft musk. And I never thought in a million years again that I would like something with a musky fragrance. But it's so mild. The right amount of musk, the right amount of warmness. I like warm candles. Like I want my candles to smell very natural. Like the fragrance to be very natural. I don't like scented candles because I have candles from Bath and Body Works which literally smell like they have perfume in it. And I cannot. I hate them. But these two, I love them. I also really like the candle. I think it's called Coffee and Whiskey. So I bought it. I tried it. I loved it. I fell in love. I went back to the store. They were sold out. Luckily, I got one more. So I'm saving it. But I never, like, again, I could never imagine, like, Coffee and Whiskey, that kind of fragrance I would like and I would light it up. But it's mind-blowing. Since we're talking about fragrance, let me talk about two of my favorite perfumes. Again, I've spoken about this perfume before. This one is from Chanel and this one is from Gucci. You can see very well loved and yeah, this is not that used but this is one of my favorites. The reason why I don't use a lot of perfumes is because I have two dogs and I don't want them to be around such strong fragrances. But yeah, so that's why I like to use something more mild. I generally like, I don't like very strong perfumes and i love it when someone around me has a good scent on that's such a plus point for me let me not give ideas to you people and let me not give you guys hints anyway this one is the coco madame's oil uh, chanel perfume i bought it on my most recent not my most recent trip but on my birthday trip and i like to remember trips by the things that i buy to be honest like i remember like this i bought this while i was there i bought this while i was there that's like a reminder for me on on the trips and all of that completely unwanted information let's talk about the perfume let's focus on that 
it smells very floral and it's the best fragrance i cannot describe fragrances you guys have to go in store and try it it's a beautiful subtle packaging which is why i like it it's the perfect date night fragrance you can use it in the day it's very really apt for the night as well it's the perfect perfume for me because i don't like something very strong i want it to be very mild but still there and unique that's all i'm going to say the other perfume is flora by gucci as you can see it's pretty much all gone it's such a beautiful scent it's very floral it smells very fresh that's all i can say it's actually very apt for the day i wouldn't use it in the night it's the perfect fragrance for the daytime we're almost done with the video we just have two products that are left to talk about and these have something to do with your teeth a lot of people ignore their dental health and i have never i cannot because your smile is one of your biggest and your most important features this is a secret to my pearly white smile like you can see right these are pretty white and i don't even do any kind of teeth whitening completely random and you all might be wondering who the fuck mentioned something like this but this is a toothpaste that i use as you can see it's from crest it's a 3d white toothpaste now i know there are a lot of toothpaste in the indian market that claim that they'll whiten your teeth but none of them do it i've tried it which is why i can tell you from my own experience like honestly i it's such a struggle to get this toothpaste but it's the only toothpaste that i've been using for years and years and years now and i cannot switch it out the reason why i love this toothpaste is because it removes up to 90% of surface stains i have a lot of these and i have like different variations this one in particular is the radiant mint and the reason why i love it is because in our indian food we have so many spices we have haldi and what not which stains our teeth a lot of people are coffee drinkers and tea drinkers which again stains your teeth which is why i go for something like this even though i don't drink tea or coffee but there's still like lots of spices in our food and it a lot of things end up staining your teeth and i don't like it so i just use this toothpaste to keep my teeth clean and get rid of any stains and prevent any stains which is why my teeth look so white the last dental care product that i wanted to show you guys is this dr georgie's dental white gel now um you can either just use it by itself or you can put it on top of your toothpaste and it's got to visibly whiten your teeth and trust me it works like magic i've never been to a dentist for teeth whitening yet my teeth look like this hold on there's one more product that i want to share with you guys now this is completely random i was not planning on sharing this with you guys but i was just sipping on it so i thought why not share it with you guys so it's the jimmy's cocktails and honestly it's such a genius idea for people like us who live in a dry state and we don't have the access to alcohol it's such a genius idea because you can't go out to clubs and bars and have cocktails but you can get something like this mix your own alcohol and make your own cocktail at home so it tells you the list of ingredients that are in there and it also tells you what alcohol you mix it with so it says that it's the best mixed with vodka it's the best mixed with whiskey or rum or gin or tequila and all of that like it's honestly it tastes so good and if you're hosting a party you want to serve cocktails this is going to be a friend it's honestly one of the smartest and the most genius inventions and that's it you guys these were some of my favorite products let me know if there's anything that you guys would like to recommend me or anything that you think i should try out i would definitely be up for that if you like this video or if you found it helpful go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel the moment we hit a thousand subscribers i have a giveaway lined up you can go check out my shorts for that as to what giveaway it is and what what products you're going to win stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you guys soon